I'm in the suburbs of Zagreb, Croatia. And if you're a Michigan boy like me, I come from the suburbs where there's like one cafe and not much going on. Anyways, I'm gonna share a little bit about my personal life and how me and Rosalia basically broke up. But this is a video about Croatian suburbs. I'm like 45 minutes away from the city center. And check it out already. This is just one of the, this is just one of the cafes here, right? Just one of the cafes. Right now it is four o'clock. Two, in two hours, this whole thing will be like jam-packed with people. There's already people here, right? And if you compare it to Michigan, like you can go anytime in Michigan outside in the suburbs, there's nothing going on. And this is just one cafe. Let me walk a few steps, literally. Literally a few steps down. It's 4 p.m. Remember that. In the suburbs, 45 minutes away. I'm gonna show you how much, how active this cafe is. And of course, me and Rosalia broke up. You know, it happens. I can't lie and say it was mutual or anything like that. That's never the case. It's always somebody that breaks it off. I'm pretty disappointed to be honest. I'm not gonna act like a tough guy. I'm pretty affected by it. And yeah, anyways, I'll talk about it later. Let me show you. This is not, not it. This is like an annoying cafe where it's like super long. But this cafe, and this cafe too, it, it, in a couple hours is gonna be jam packed. I'm gonna show you some bakeries and other stuff. Interesting, this is the suburbs, you know? Check it out, check out this cafe. How many single people are here, you know? Oh yeah, by the way, now that I'm single, don't, don't go on the DM guys, I know I'm, a lot of homosexuals. I attract a lot of homosexuals, basically. But check it out. Dude, is there an entrance here? Let me just walk through. Show you how many single hotties, hot guys over there. Uh, hot chicks. All types of people here. And this is 40 minutes away. This is like super cafe culture up in this joint. Croatia is crazy when it comes to cafes. I can't believe how active, like in Michigan. Dude, it's so rare that you, in suburbs of Michigan, that you would meet anybody, literally. But yeah, this is like uh, super active. Anyways, as I was saying, yes, I am very sad about the breakup. You know? It's just that after what happened in Ukraine, just things went down, downhill with Rosalia. I don't even know if you care that much. It's like, this is just some random dude talking about his relationship. I'm like, you're like, just shut the, shut the, you know? <laughs> but my point is, my, my lesson to you, like, here's another cafe that's usually jam-packed. So there's like four cafes in, in like two minutes, right? Anyways, my, my lesson, my lesson to people, it's like when I was going to, when, when you're doing anything, when you're talking to somebody new, I'm acting like a know-it-all now, but I'm not, I'm not trying to be a know-it-all. I'm just trying to share some knowledge. Basically, when you're... The way I see it is like everything is risk, right? You go out with a person, you're taking a risk. You're investing in a person, you're taking a risk. Don't kill me, Croatians. Basically, relationships are a risk. If you put yourself out there, there is a risk. If you go talk to some guy or a girl, it's a risk. So there's all these groups of, of men, for example, that always used to piss me off, like men going their own path, right? Like, what are you doing? What, what are you doing? You're gonna miss out on the glory of life, the glory of relationships, just because you're, at the end of the day, all you're proving is that you're scared to put yourself out there, right? This is what I think. You're just like risk-taking. You're taking a risk with everything you do. And the way I see, even though this relationship broke up and probably others will break up in the future and you're gonna, I'm gonna get hurt and you're gonna get hurt, it's all risk, baby, you know what I mean? It's all risk and you gotta put yourself out there. Anyways, I'm, I'm here in front of 
one of the most amazing places <laughs> in uh, the suburbs of Croatia. Let me show you. I've been coming here, and usually there's like some people here, right? Is it filming? Yeah, there's usually a lot of people sitting here in the evening. I come back. I, after I like hide from a get in the tram anyways, it's tough. Hello. Uh, how you doing? Can I get uh, one of these maybe? Yeah. See, they always have like different, different stuff. They're pizza. Mm, no. They got other cakes here, sandwiches. How's your day going? Oh, good. Thank you. Okay, dude, check it out. This is this is what life is all about, man. You you you, you try different pastries and you smile and like just eat it. You know, check it out. This is one of the pastries I see so often here. I haven't had the chance to try the walnuts one, even though it's literally everywhere. You know, they got some pretty good breads. I've been busy with breads, trying different breads and stuff like that. But let's try this. Pretty good looking. It's a bit hard. It's not that fresh. Maybe let's try it out. Croatian? I'm not sure, man. People in the comment section go crazy. It's Bosnian, it's Polish, it's Croatian. <laughs> on TikTok, not on YouTube. I don't get that many views on YouTube. Hmm. Not a very good first bite. But it's mostly. What I bit is mostly bread. Let's try again with the walnut stuff. Oh man, this is disappointing. <laughs> is this gonna be my life now? <laughs> Am I just gonna get disappointment? I gotta go to a different pastry, find a different. I mean, I gotta go to a different pastry shop, find another one. This is disappointing. It's average at best. It's just white bread mixed with uh, walnuts. The bread part has to be like cake-ish, you know? This is not good. It's not worth the investment of calories. I gotta find a different one. But here's another place here in the suburbs. And there is a house that's interesting, but let's check out if they have meat. Let's see if they have chicken. Hello, do you have chicken? Chicken, uh, chicken? Chicken kebab? I don't know. No? They don't have chicken kebab. In the Balkan countries, dude, some of them, the other uh, part of Croatia, on the other side that I had, some of the best freaking uh, spicy kebab here was amazing. Anyways, I want to show you this house, this interesting house. And you can see there's people walking down the streets in the suburbs of Croatia. There's some hotties, guys and girls, you know? But check out this house. You know, at first I thought it was like an abandoned building. You know? But there's actually people that live there. It's like damaged and it's not like all the houses around are damaged. It's just this house, which makes it kind of interesting. The top is like damaged a lot. And then on the bottom, there's like, it's nicer and there's people living. They got flowers, which is really nice. Somebody's biking. And I want to show you one more thing, which is a supermarket here, maybe. You know what? There's the store, but forget about it. It's just like a typical store with pastries. I was just going there for an excuse to get a different pastry uh, <laughs> anyways I'm here to show you a cafano in the in the freaking suburbs uh, I didn't notice this before an abandoned building interesting you get cheap drinks and uh, some pretty good food I would order something but I had like a shitty meal I gotta say <laughs> I, had no, I was hungry in the apartment. I had nothing but like some bread with some sardines. Anyways, my, my serious, I, I know you don't give a crap about my relationships, but I gotta tell you, like, it's so easy to fall back and be like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna protect myself and not take any more risks. But be a risk taker, dude. That's, that's, that's what I'm gonna tell myself and what I'm gonna tell you. I think you should be a risk taker and I should be a risk taker. And just like put yourself out there, meet new people, invest in people. Yeah, you'll get burned sometimes. So what though, you know? 
if you don't put yourself out there, I personally think we're being cowards if we don't put ourselves out there. That's the main point I wanted to share in this video, I guess. Uh, I had a couple other things in mind, but I got like a literally like some of the worst short-term memory uh, ever. I forget things so quickly. But anyways, I'm gonna go hop on a tram, get some work done. I look like a freaking student with this. <laughs> I took this backpack because I was because uh, I was filming. Don't usually take it with me. But anyways, I'm gonna go hop on a tram. Not even gonna pay for the ticket. I'm gonna be a criminal. Now I gotta be a bad boy today, so I can, you know, be attractive to the ladies. <laughs> now that I'm back on the market, you know, it's so disappointing. Anyways, I hope uh, you enjoyed this uh, tour of uh, Croatian suburbs. It's very interesting how different it is from Michigan. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like and subscribe for the channel. I'll see you on the next one.